What's up guys? Happy Wednesday. I feel great this rising. How do you guys feel? Let's just take a second to do a 30 second dance break. Okay, ready? Have you ever thought of someone so much you thought you like? Give them so much of yourself. It seems the only way. Tell me what you want it And I will give it to you. So y'all see I'm silly? I want you guys to know that I'm silly. Yes, I'm wise. Yes, I'm smart. But I'm also silly. And you need to be silly every day. Everybody needs to do something silly. So if you didn't do that dance break with me, I suggest you do it now or take a time sometime today to do a 30 second dance break. I also suggest that you incorporate 30 second dance breaks into your daily life because they keep you on track, man. So today, we are seeing what message spirit has for us so that we can be at our best, living our best lives. Let's see what that entails today. Perfect. Uh, we're doing two cards today, guys. Let's see, what, let's see what spirit talking about. Oh my God, you wanna know how this is crazy? We got the Ace of Cups. And we got the um, Nine of Swords. Let me hold it. This, the Nine of Swords. And it's crazy because I was just singing Candy Coated Rain. Have you ever loved someone so much you thought you'd die? So this is probably why I was channeling that song because today's message is about emotional healing. It's about getting over heartbreak. And, as soon, and when you get over heartbreak, spirit is offering you new love. I really, I try to stay away from the love topics because I really feel like we should focus on success right now. But if the message is love, I'm not going to not say the message. So the message today is speaking to those who are going through times of grief and loneliness and heartbreak. Pain, that they just don't know how they're going to get out of it. They just don't know where a brighter day is going to come from. They just don't know if anyone will ever love them again or if they'll ever be happy again or if they'll ever feel emotional fulfillment again. So this person is just, like you see, her head is down. She has her book. She's been by herself. She's just been reading, you know, chilling out. But if she would lift her head, if you look at that window up there, there's a sun up there. And if she would just take the time to lift her head up, she would see that brighter days are on the horizon. But she or he is so focused on, you know, the past and what didn't happen and what's the pain that's inside that it's so overwhelming. They're not even able to visualize better days, visualize, you know, um, alleviation from this pain. But guess what? It's here. And why is it here? Because the universe is sending it to you. A lot of this is going to definitely have to do with love. Uh, those who have been single for quite some time, the universe is sending you a gift of love, of romance, of emotional fulfillment. Where you were alone before, you will have companionship. You see the two birds up here? This is a gift from spirit. And see how her cup overflows? You're going to be so in love that you're going to gush. You're going to be so loved and so blessed by this love that the love is going to flow off of you onto the people around you, okay? So this is great omens because even when we're trying to be successful, you can't be successful if you're like in your head. You can't focus on work if you're crashing, crumbling, and imploding within. You just can't. You can't be happy for your wins when really there's something in you that you know is just not being satisfied. You know it's just not being taken care of. Whatever that thing is, even if you can't put your finger on it, or if you have identified it and know exactly what it is that you need, whatever it is that you need to help you to balance yourself emotional so you can be holistically healthy, mind, body, spirit, and emotions, oh, it's coming, baby. It's coming. So you enjoy the blessings the universe is sending to you. You enjoy this day, and I will talk to you guys later, okay? Peace out.